number seven. This is the one we're starting to get kind of fancy here. We've got an x minus 4 times x plus 5. So we have a binomial times a binomial. Then we're going to subtract 2x squared times x minus 1. And this one's a monomial times a binomial. So what we're going to do is we're going to first treat it like two separate problems. So I'm not going to deal with this part. I'm just going to FOIL the first part. So let's FOIL this. We're going to get x times x is x squared. Outer is positive 5x. Inner is negative 4x. And last is negative 20. Okay, so there's the first part. Now I'm going to distribute this negative 2x squared into x minus 1. Well, make sure you bring this negative with it, okay, because that sign is negative. So negative 2x squared times x, all we do is add that exponent of 1, right? So it's negative 2x cubed, and then negative 2x squared times negative 1. Negative times a negative is a positive 2x squared. Okay, now I'm going to add my like terms, and I'm going to get everything in descending order. So let's look at it. What is my highest exponent? What's well, this one? It's the cube. So I'm going to bring it down. But when you bring it down, be careful. Bring the negative with it. So you have negative 2x cubed as your first term. Okay, I like to cross it out to make sure I know that's accounted for. Now I've got an x squared here and a 2x squared there. So I'm adding. So that's 3x squared. And then I have a 5x minus 4x. So that's going to be positive 1x. Or positive x and that deals with those two and then I just have a minus 20. So there we go. That is what the binomials and that monomial distributed in simplifies to negative 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus x minus 20. Okay so let's do one more of these kind of fancy problems. I threw in number 8. Number 8 is a binomial times a binomial. So we have n minus 2 times n minus 3. And then we're going to add to it. So we don't have to worry about our signs so much on this one because this one's adding n m minus 5 and m plus 5. Okay, so we're going to FOIL here, get that answer. And then we're going to FOIL here, get that answer, and then we're going to add the two answers together. So let's take one part at a time. Let's do the, two, the m minus 2, m minus 3 first. So FOILing it, I get m squared, outer, minus 3m, inner, minus 2m, negative 2 times a negative 2 is a positive 6. So there's my first one. Now let's FOIL this part. m times m is m squared plus 5m for my outer, minus 5m for my inner, and then minus 25. Okay, before we get to simplify anything, what do you notice about these two terms? Positive m, 5m, and negative 5m. They're just going to become 0, so they cancel each other out. Okay, so let's bring down what we have left. Okay, over here on the left, we have m squared. And then we have a negative 3 and a negative 2m. Negative 3m, negative 2m is negative 5m. Same sign you add. And then bring this 6 down. And then from the back, all we have is an m squared and a minus 25 because these canceled. Okay? So now we can add our like terms of each group. So now we have m squared and m squared. Well, we're adding. So all we do is add the coefficients. So this is 1m squared, and that's a 1m squared, so I have 2m squared. Negative 5m, and this one doesn't have that middle term anymore because they canceled out, so I'm just going to bring it down. And then I have a positive 6 and a negative 25, which is negative 19. And there's our answer. So that's how you would simplify those.